gorgeous view along the way. We have a traffic jam, so we're really behind. It's day two of the Hajian Loop. We're gonna be having to make up for not completing where we were supposed to yesterday. So it's early, the roosters woke us up. Well, woke me up at least. Anticipated rain. Yeah, hopefully not, but gotta be prepared. All right, we are starting day two on the <laughs> Bad problems. Why would you look outside yourself when you had all of the world inside? Yeah, your heart is a sun and it shines. Is it open? Where well, your heart is the sun and it shines. Says it open. Yeah, your heart is the sun and it shines. Is it open? Where well, your heart is the sun and it shines. Says it open. Yeah, your bones are the earth and they sing with the mountain. Where well, your bones. All the earth and they sing with a mountain. Yeah, bones, all the earth and they sing with a mountain. Well, your bones, all the earth and they sing with a mountain. Why would you look outside yourself when you have all of the world inside? Why would you look outside yourself when you? Outside yourself when you have all of the world is inside. Why would you look outside yourself when you have all of the world yeah, your inside? Your mind is a space that creates your horizon. Well, your mind is a space that creates your horizon. Yeah, your mind is a space that creates. Day two of the Hajian Loop was characterized by either really amazing scenery, rough roads, and traffic jams and construction. Gorgeous view along the way. We're definitely running late, so we gotta kick our booties into gear. I think we still have another three hours to drive today. Yep. We had a bit of a traffic jam from Yen Min on the way up here, so we're really behind.
gonna go check out the Hmong's King Palace. I think it, that's Hmong King. Yeah, something like that. We'll put it here. It's apparently this big palace that's a common side trip when you do the Hajang Loop. So we're gonna go see what it's like. room in the palace. <laughs> many stopovers on the loop. It's beautiful, look at that behind me. So many gorgeous shots and not enough time. Hello, Buffalo. We're at our next stopover for day two. We're headed to a flagpole that is called what is it called? Luke something. Lung. We'll put it in here. We can't remember the name. It's a fly. It's a very famous site. I guess it used to claim to be the northernmost place, but it's not actually. We're gonna go to that one afterwards. We just went up from the base on a bunch of stairs. Apparently, you can ride your bike up here. So I know that people of YouTube, if you're going to do this, you can bike up.
construction going on here. And the sun's setting. And we're still supposed to drive for an hour and a half. It says we're nine minutes from it. So we just can't find the northernmost point. Everyone that I saw on Instagram made it sound like it was super straightforward. Me and Alex get lost very easily. I put the directions in the Google Maps and it took us on a ridiculous road. That so was- don't, yeah. the lesson here is don't trust Google Maps as of, what is it, December 2019. <laughs> They're inaccurate and there's tons of construction going on. So who knows, the road could have changed in like a couple weeks, really. Rawr. We're just heading back. These roads are awful for a scooter. After arriving in the town way later than we had expected, we had a big dinner and exhausted went to bed to prepare for the next morning. Dinner time. All right, we are loud truck. Oh boy. Oh, Alex. Jam. Sorry, the honk. Probably gonna hear me from Nibin. So we were stuck there for quite. From where? Were we Nibin? Yenmin. We have way too much drone footage from this trip. Not just way drone footage. GoPro go footage. footage. Yeah. <laughs> it's gonna be such a pain to edit. Uh, why do you do this to yourself, Liz and Alex? Yourselves. We are not one person. <laughs> uh, uh. 